Well, imagine not being able to catch your breath. Simple things like just getting up in the morning, draining your energy. Well, that's the life a Spokane man is living as he battles cystic fibrosis. We received a Facebook message from this young man's friend, and KXY4's John Hendricks joins us now live with the story. John? Nadine Jesse Cunnington told me today he and his family don't like asking for money, but he needs a double lung transplant. The aspiring musician hoping the community will come together to help out in any way possible. Since the first year of his life. I've had cystic fibrosis since I was six months old. 23-year-old Jesse Cunnington has been in a fight very few can relate to. My health takes a lot of time away from me to where I often wake up without enough energy for more than, you know, 30 minutes in a day to work on something. The disease fills Jesse's lungs with fluid. It has slowly taken over his body and something he loves. I kind of first started getting into music when I was uh, 16, played my great grandpa's uh, acoustic guitar. Since then, he's been playing for friends and family and the occasional concert. But the disease is now making it difficult for him to sing, even play that guitar. His great grandfather left him. It's pretty awful. It's, it's really hard having to see him struggle and be so uncomfortable. His mom, Tina, has been by his side every step of the way working two jobs seven days a week to help pay for a double lung transplant. These trips to Seattle, I, I don't know what, how we're going to do that or how we're going to, you know, after he gets a surgery and they want you to live there for three to six months. How is that possible? <laughs> the family hopes you will help them through a GoFundMe account to raise $45,000. So we feel awful asking for any money. We've always kind of not been that sort of mindset. Mm -hmm. So now that we are, we're doing it with a lot of humility. As they wait and work to raise enough money, Jesse uses music to lift his spirits. As soon as I get headphones on, I can you know, spend two or three hours really energetically moving around. Maybe someday he'll again make music of his own. Now, if you are interested in helping Jesse out, I've tweeted and Facebook a link to that GoFundMe page. We've also put it in the online version of this story at KXLY.com. Reporting in studio, John Hendricks, KXLY 4 News.